everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some DIY Dollar Tree romantic Valentine's Day decor crafts. So I'd love to share with you all how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a teeny tiny budget and decorate after Christmas. Let's make it easy and fun. Now I also have a giveaway in this video, so listen for that secret question, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and let's go ahead and plug in those glue guns, get out your glitter and paint, and let's get to crafting. For the first Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you all how you can decorate a Christmas tree using inexpensive items from the Dollar Tree. So starting out, I'm going to use these uh, felt heart ornaments. They are 10 to a pack and they're really beautiful. They're perfect for decorating a little Christmas tree for Valentine's Day. Now, believe it or not, this is actually the first Christmas tree I have ever decorated for Valentine's Day. So I'm just using some Christmas tree hooks and I'm threading them through the top of the little felt ornament and they hook directly on to the Christmas tree. Now I'm going in with some little pink felt ornaments and these are a smaller ornament and actually they're not really an ornament but I thought they worked perfectly for this. So if you all are like me and you want to keep kind of a cozy glow going in your home by keeping a smaller Christmas tree up or maybe you even want to do a larger Christmas tree. I've been seeing so many of you all are keeping your larger Christmas tree up in your living rooms, dining rooms, kitchens, and it's casting such that cozy glow. Um, this is a great little idea to fill out a tree. So these, again, like I said, come 10 to a pack at Dollar Tree, and they really fill out your tree really nicely. Just use your Christmas ornament hooks, and voila, you have a fabulous little tree. So super easy, because I know Valentine's Day is kind of like a short holiday to decorate with. Now you could also think about doing this also with the paper doilies that you can find at Dollar Tree. I do recommend the felt ones, um, just because they're a little bit sturdier. Now this is about a three and a half foot mini tree. We found these at Walmart. Um, and then I'm also taking these little Dollar Tree um, heart picks. These are super cute. These come six to a pack and I'm just picking them in to this little Christmas tree. So for a couple of bucks, you guys can make a really festive little Valentine's Day tree. And even if you didn't have these, you could also just cut some little hearts out and maybe hole punch them. Them. Maybe you have some um, pink or white cardstock on hand or some construction paper. Now I'm also using these little white roses and I didn't go out and buy these roses. I already had these in my craft stash from last spring. So dig into some of maybe your spring or summer stash. Get creative. A Valentine's Day tree really doesn't have to cost anything. And this is just, again, a fun, cozy way to add a little bit of sunshine to your day and a little bit of romance to your home. And here is how my very first Valentine's Day Christmas tree turned out. And I am going to share with you all some more Valentine's Day Christmas tree, Valentine's Day tree ornaments a little bit later in this video. So keep watching as well as I have a surprise giveaway in this video as well. So have fun with it, get creative and go for it. For the next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to share with you all how to make a super cute Valentine's Day mailbox. So I'm taking this Dollar Tree, it's a tall gift box left over from Christmas, and then I'm taking this gift wrap that has obviously seen better days, but it is kind of some cute pink and white gift wrap um, that I had left over from a birthday party gift. I'm just going to hot glue it around this um, gift box. And this is kind of a taller gift box. I think maybe it was intended for wine. So just think about this, you know, look in your party section, maybe find a wine box or just a taller box. Maybe you could even glue a couple of boxes on top of each other to create this craft. And then I'm going to fold my edges over and make a nice little neat seam here. Now you don't necessarily have to hot glue this. You could also just use um, scotch tape or even maybe some Elmer's glue as well. But I like the instant results of 
craft glue. Um, I'm sorry, I like the instant results of the hot glue. Um, so that's why I'm using hot glue here. Also, a lot of you will ask me about my hot glue gun. It's a Chandler hot glue gun and I get it off of Amazon. I'm gonna link it for you guys in my Amazon store in the description box below. Now I just hot glued this super adorable little heart Dollar Tree Valentine's Day mailbox to the top of this. And then I decided to go one step extra and add this little Valentine's Day sign to the front of my mailbox. I originally thought I was going to, you know, use the signs all the way around them. And then I didn't really feel like that was necessary. I thought maybe just like a cute little wood piece to the front. So I very carefully removed um, the 10 hearts from the front of this Dollar Tree sign. Now be really careful when you're removing them because it has a tendency to pull um, the little part of the sign off and then I just added some hot glue to that and then I re-hot glued the 10 pieces to the sign back onto the front of that and also be careful when you're hot glued the little 10 pieces of the hearts back on because the 10 does get hot with the hot glue. I learned that the hard way a couple of years ago when I was gluing Dollar Tree 10 that that heats up really hot so just be careful right there guys. Okay so then there you guys have it. You have a fun and fabulous really easy little Dollar Tree mailbox and it only costs you a couple of dollars with your mailbox and your little sign if you choose to do that and then maybe you can repurpose a box super easy peasy and then you can put little love notes in there for your loved ones or you could fill it with a box of candies or maybe a little stuffy and some goodies such a cute little way to decorate I did one of these for Christmas and you can pop it by your little Valentine's Day tree and make a little decor piece so fun and fabulous on a budget. Now for the next DIY, I want to share with you all how you can take your Christmas tree wreath. This is just a wreath I had left over from Christmas. I got it at Walmart. And then I'm going to use this burlap and I'm just going to add the burlap to the Christmas tree wreath by taking the branches and crossing the branches over the burlap and then making little burlap poofs kind of in the same way you would use when you're using like deco mesh. So I'm making about eight to 10 inch poofs and then I'm crossing the evergreen over on the burlap and then pulling those poofs out and I do that until I get to the end of the first round of burlap now for this wreath because it's a little bit full I decided I wanted to make another round of burlap and I went on the outside edge of the wreath um, just to make it look a little bit bigger and fuller that's a little tip or trick I have for you guys if you want to make your wreath look a little bit rounder and fuller you can go on the outer edge of that evergreen wreath with your burlap or your mesh so also say you're not using burlap say you want to use deco mesh you can use deco mesh in the exact same style that I'm using this burlap in and just crisscross those branches over and just run it around the edge and do about eight to 10 inch poofs and kind of pull that burlap or mesh out and then continue to rim it around the wreath. And you know, you can tell that I'm just kind of gathering it and poofing it. Doesn't have to be perfect, you guys. Have fun with it. Now I'm adding in this cute little Dollar Tree um, tag sign. It says, love is all you need. It has the adorable little red truck with the hearts blooming out. And then I decided that I wanted to add a bow so I'm using my easy bow maker which you guys can find on deco exchange is a great place to buy it from I love Damon he runs deco exchange he's a great guy uh, grab it from him He's a small business and I love supporting small businesses. Okay, so for this bow, I'm gonna use this beautiful ribbon from Hobby Lobby and I'm gonna go six inches across on my bow and then I'm gonna add this Dollar Tree ribbon, it's heart ribbon, and then I'm gonna make it about the same size but I'm gonna to begin to go a little bit smaller as I go back and forth. Now, I love making my Olivia bows. If you're new, welcome, I love to make bows. I have a huge bow video for you on my YouTube channel. You guys can check that out. I'll leave it in the description box below um, and you guys can make the easy Olivia bow that has no tools or you can follow this tutorial as well. So you just keep making your loop. That easy bow maker is going to hold it. You see the center prong and so you can just take the ribbon and move the ribbon back and forth. As you guys can see, it's really super easy. That little center point just holds your bow and I'm just making it a little bit smaller as I go. Now don't forget to dovetail your ends and fluffy up your bow. I kind of do 
that as I go. So by the time I'm done making my bow, it's kind of all done for me. That's kind of a little cheat on this easy bow maker, you guys. I kind of really love it. Okay, and so I'm also just going to finish up this bow with a pretty little heart ribbon. All of this ribbon is from Dollar Tree, believe it or not, except for that black and white harlequin ribbon at the end. Now I'm gonna pinch it in the center and I'm gonna tie it all off nice and pretty with a little pipe cleaner. You're not gonna see your pipe cleaner, trust me. So pick whatever color pipe cleaner you love. You can match it to your project or not. This is for my home, so I'm not worried about it. I'm gonna pop it into my wreath just by attaching it with my pipe cleaner and then I'm gonna give it a nice little fluffy. The next thing I wanna do is add in some more ribbon to tie in that ribbon. This step is totally optional. If you guys love know me, I love lots of ribbon and bows. So again, you guys can leave this out or you can add it in. Now I'm going to dovetail my ends by cutting that little triangle on the end of each one of my ribbon, as you guys can see. And then I'm just going to add a loop right here and then tuck that in to my little wreath here. And I didn't even add any type of wire or anything. I just tucked it in by crossing the evergreen over on the ribbon. So you guys can see, I'm just taking that ribbon and making a giant loop and then I'm tucking it into the wreath by crossing the evergreen over onto the loops. It's super easy. It's totally just, you guys can do this, super easy. And then you can even curl your ribbon up if you want. So I added a kind of a layer of ribbon off to the left, a layer of ribbon at the bottom, and that kind of gives me like a heart shape effect to the wreath. Now I took one of those Dollar Tree hanging signs and I broke it apart and I added it into the wreath to just give it that extra zhuzh. Again, this is totally optional. I also added in some pretty Dollar Tree roses. They have some really realistic roses there right now. Pick those up, they're great. They are a dollar a piece, which is a little bit much. They have some that are three for a dollar or the dollar ones that are looking realistic to me. You guys go for it. Dig into your rose stash if you have some on hand and use those. Have fun with it, get creative. And then I just add in, again, these little extra hearts just for some zhuzh. And then here is how it turned out. Love is all you need. Spread some joy, spread some cheer with a fun little wreath. This is definitely gonna go somewhere inside of my home or it might go on my front door. We shall see. I love making these wreaths for a pop of color in the winter months. It just gives so much joy to my home to have this little extra special sparkle and shine. And I really do feel like love is all you need. I also have this sign next to my coffee maker. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I do share a good morning cup of coffee with you every morning. I just feel like this love is all you need is such a great reminder to love on everybody. Okay, for the next Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you guys how to make a super easy, fun little Dollar Tree doily fan. Now, you're going to take a Dollar Tree doily, and this is the larger doily, and you're just going to take and you're going to accordion style it from the bottom to the top. So you're just going to fold it from the bottom up to the top. So you fold it and then you fold it just like an accordion. I hope that makes sense. Watch the tutorial, watch my hands. So I used the white one first and then I'm going to do a pink one the same way. So you start at the bottom, you fold it and then you fold it back, you fold it forward, you fold it back, you fold it forward just until you get to the top. And you're gonna do that with a pink one. So basically what we wanna make, so I'm gonna show you that again with the pink one. Okay, so you start from the bottom, you fold it up, and then you take and you fold it back, <laughs> and then you fold it up, and then you fold it back. Just like when you're a little kid in grade school and you're really hot sitting in your classroom, which we used to get, and you would make yourself like a little paper fan. Hopefully that can click for anybody that got confused by my instruction. I felt like that was way harder than I was meaning for it to be. And then you're just gonna fold it in half. So you're making like a little paper fan. And then you can tuck these in together and you can make like a really cute little pink and white fan. And I thought these would be really fun to make for our Christmas trees because if you kind of notice in my Christmas tree, I felt like there was some gaps and I felt like these doilies were too big to just push into this little small tree. So I thought this would be a fun little way to kind of make like a little fan plume <laughs> as you guys might want to call it, or maybe I'll call it that. And so just take a piece of tape and tape around the base of it. Really, I wanted to staple it together. I felt like that would be more stable, but I couldn't find my stapler for the life of me. Literally, I dug through all of my crafting supplies. There was not a stapler to be found anywhere. 
anywhere, you guys. <laughs> so now I'm gonna take a cute little Dollar Tree felt sticker and just pop that into the front of my little Dollar Tree doily fan and voila, we have an instant fabulous little uh, ornament on a budget. And these would be fun to make with kids because there's absolutely no hot glue involved. There's um, very little work that you have to do and you can make literally hundreds of these. And the Dollar Tree doilies, I think they come about 20 to 30 to a pack, depending upon what size you have. And so you guys could just litter your tree with tons of these, especially if you have like a larger Christmas tree that you're trying to decorate on a budget. You know, you don't want to probably spend a ton on Valentine's Day decor. Or maybe, you know, you want to make it look really pretty and full and fabulous, but you don't want to break the bank. So I thought this would be a fun little idea for you guys um, to share. And especially if you guys can do it with your kiddos or grandkids, even better. So just a little funsy. I'd love to see you guys' take on this. And also Dollar Tree does sell red doilies in case you guys are doing a red tree. For the next Dollar Tree DIY, I wanted to share with you guys how to jazz up the Dollar Tree wooden hearts. So I have a variety of little goodies here. I have some burlap rosettes. These are from my craft stash. And I found these on burlapfabric.com or you guys can make your own. I think I did a tutorial for you all last year on my burlap rosettes. I'll try to repost that on my Facebook page or Instagram um, for you guys. I also thought it would be fun to take some of the little Dollar Tree hearts heart stickers and pop those on to the wooden hearts, especially if you're crafting these with kids and you don't want to run the risk of having them play with the hot glue guns or you just don't want the hassle of a hot glue gun. Another thing that would be fun to use on the wooden hearts are some bling. You guys know I am totally in love with the totallydazzle.com. Natalie is my girl. She is so sweet and she has a little small business where she sells bling and her bling is beautiful. I love to support a small business and look at how gorgeous this is and it is so inexpensive. Her bling is like $1.50 each and also you guys can make memory hearts. So maybe you have some of your grandma's or mother's jewelry or your sister or your aunt and you want to remember them. You can make a beautiful tree with hearts um, and use their jewelry. I think that's really a sweet idea as well. I know we've done something like that with my husband's mother's jewelry and it's a great way to remember a loved one by as well. Um, and so those are just some ideas on how you can do some really beautiful hearts for a Valentine's Day Christmas tree or a romantic Christmas tree. And then the next thing I thought that would be a really sweet little romantic touch for your wooden hearts would be to add um, some Dollar Tree lace. So they have this crocheted lace. It's really in the crafter section at your Dollar Tree. And so all you have to do is tie like a little shoelace bow in the top with your lace. And when I say shoelace bow, it's just like a bow that you would use when you're tying your shoelace and you hot glue that to the top of your heart and then you have a really sweet little bow and that can instantly be popped onto your tree. You can use a little Christmas ornament hanger um, to pop that on or you can just slide that onto your tree branch. Super easy, fun and fabulous on a budget and also a great memory maker. And here is how some of those really sweet little wooden ornaments turn out. I think they make a great addition to the tree. Um, in addition to the little felt ornaments that we added and the sweet little paper doily fans, I feel like the little jeweled ornaments with the wooden accents just really bring things to life. They just add that sh kind of shabby chic touch and you could always customize these to your colors. Maybe you're decorating your Valentine's Day tree with purples or turquoise or reds, whatever color you love. Paint those hearts, suit them to your fancy, have fun with it, get creative and go for it. I wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old. Please tell me you'll stay or take me away. I want you for myself every single day. You said my world. 
Now for the next Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you all how to make a beautiful Christmas tree, Valentine's Day tree topper using Dollar Tree ribbon. So you may be having a hard time finding pink ribbon for your Valentine's Day tree at the Dollar Tree. Well, you guys can think outside the box and use some Easter ribbon. So I'm taking this Dollar Tree ribbon and using my Easy Bow Maker, I'm going to make a quick little easy bow and it's going to be about a six inch bow. So you're going to go back and forth on your bow maker about three times with about a five to six inch bow and there you have an almost instant bow and then you can add to that or you can have that as is don't forget to dovetail your ends by cutting a little triangle in the end now you guys know me I love big bows and I cannot lie so I had to add a little bit more zhuzh a little bit more pop of color and dimension I had a little bit of extra ribbon left over which this easy bow maker is amazing <laughs> for using up extra ribbon. This ribbon is also from the Dollar Tree. It's kind of has a little bit more of a burlap texture, which I love adding in more textures. So I popped that in and this is about a four inch cut. And then I decided to go even a little bit further and add some lace. Now the lace is not wired, so it's going to be a little bit floppy, floppy, but if you add it in at the very last and just add a small touch of it, it doesn't do too bad. So I always tell you guys to always, 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 use wired ribbon but I'm making an exception here for our Valentine's Day tree because we have to have that touch of romance you guys now tie off your pretty easy bow with um, uh, a little pipe cleaner here okay and then you have a fabulous tree topper on a budget using Dollar Tree ribbon and a little bit of lace I did have that lace in my craft stash so dig into your craft stash see what you guys can find and then I'm just going to attach that with my um, little pipe cleaner and give it a good fluffy now the secret to my bow I always tell you guys is a nice healthy good fluffing and also so many of you will ask where to get the easy bow maker I suggest getting it off of deco exchange um, Damon is a friend of mine and he is amazing he has tons of craft ribbon and these awesome little bow makers so definitely go check him out he's a small business and I'd love to support a small business so as always I ask you guys comment and let me know what was your favorite DIY in this video and I have a secret question for you guys. I have a little giveaway. I'm going to be giving away a $50 Walmart gift card for you guys. You guys can use it on anything, craft supplies, groceries, whatever you guys need. The secret question is, have you taken your Christmas tree down? And if you have not, have you decorated for Valentine's Day with your Christmas tree? I would love to know. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys are up to. I can't wait to see your posts on Facebook. I love y'all and happy crafting. So thank you all so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous crafty decor adventure. It is a true blessing and an honor to have you all here. If you all are new, welcome. I'm Olivia with Olivia's Romantic Home and I love to share with you all how you can make your home's booty gorgeous on a teeny tiny budget. Now don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel, punch that bell. It will update you every time I post a new video. You don't want to miss out on all of the crafting and decorating and I'll even have some organizing, tidying and baking along the way. I also have have the Levi's Romantic Home Facebook page. I post DIY videos over there as well as I have a free little group page. You guys are welcome to join and post photos of your home decor and DIY projects. I love to see what you guys are up to and you all have, have been so inspiring to me. Honestly, this is the first time I have done a Valentine's Day tree and so thank you guys for everybody that's over there just crafting and decorating and sharing so many kind comments and just lifting everybody up. So thank you guys for that. I also have all these romantic home Instagram page where I share a good morning cup of coffee with you all and I also try to share a prayer card a lot of you all have asked me where those prayer cards are, cards are from they're from Dollar Tree you can also pop on to Amazon and just type in your search bar prayer cards and you guys can pull up some there I'll put some in my Amazon store as well and I'll link my Amazon store down in the description box below so thank you guys again for being here I love you all to the minute back I'm hugging all of your hearts so tight I can't wait for the next crafting and decorating video video. Until then, remember, be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another, and we'll talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.